All right, we're going to do section 4.2. The ones we had questions on there, it said, find the domain of this. Well, the only issue we have is if the denominator is equal to zero, because we'd have division by zero. So if we factor that denominator to 3x and x and minus 2, and we've got to come up with a plus 5 by subtracting, so I better get 6 somehow. So I'm going to put the 2 over here to make 6x and 1x, and I'm going to get, uh, I want to get plus 5, so plus 6x minus 1x is 5x. So when is that equal to 0? That would be at, at if I set that equal to 0, Add 1, divide by 3, I get x equal 1 third, and x equal negative 2. Those make the denominator 0. I can't have those, so the domain would be all reals, except 1 third and negative 2. Second one, <clears throat> same kind of thing. We don't care what the numerator is. We just can't have division by 0. 3 is never 0, so we all have, only have to work out for this. And x squared plus 4x plus 4 factors to x plus 2. And x plus 2 minus 2 makes that 0 and that's 0, so x cannot equal minus 2. So we have all reals. Twenty-seven. What's the domain? Well, it looks like there's the curve would go out here for negative infinity all the way up to two, and then it disappears for a moment, and then comes back on the other side of two, and the curve is there for all the rest of it. So the only thing the domain is, the domain can be all reals except two, and the range. Well. The curve is down here at negative infinity, and it works its way up there. There's this curve everywhere except at 1. <coughs> it disappears, and it shows up on the other side, and begins, so it's all reals except 1. Intercepts. There's only one. The x and y intercept is 0, zero. The horizontal asymptote looks like it's y equal 1. And since it's horizontal, there's no oblique. It's either horizontal or oblique. It can't be both. And the vertical asymptote is at x equal 2. That's 27. 31. The domain. Well, there's curve way out here at negative infinity all the way up to minus 2. Then it skips minus 2. Then it's, there's curve for all the x's in here. Then it skips 2, and then there's curve for all these x's out here. So the domain is all reals, except negative 2 and 2. Range, the curve exists down here. It disappears after 0. So we have, we're missing several in here. So I'm going to use interval notation from negative infinity up to 0 height of 0, we have the curve including 0, and then it's gone for a while, and then it shows up after 1, not including the 1, and there's curve all the way, the, for there's y values all the way up here, so to infinity. Is there any horizontal or oblique? Well, this is not a slanting line, so it's not oblique, it's just a horizontal at y equals 1, and there's a vertical asymptote at x equal negative 2 or at x equal to 2. And that's all we asked for on 31. 35. 35 says, what was the direction of the 35? Oh, use transformations. So the parent function here, we got a lot of things with x squared in the denominator. So what's that look like? I'm going to pull that page back here. So let's the parent function, uh, y equal 1 over x squared look like? Well, 0 squared is 0, so we can't have that, so there's an asymptote there. At 
1 squared is 1, two, 1 over 2 squared is 1 fourth, 1 over 3 squared is 1 ninth, and it looks kind of like this. But negative 1 squared is 1, so 1 over 1 is 1. Negative 2 squared would be negative, is positive 1 fourth, and it looks mirror image over here. That's our parent function. So this, that parent function, which looks like 1 and 1 and, and oop, goes down here, is, uh, this is minus 1, and this is 1, and this is 1, is moved left 1, a right 1, because it goes opposites inside the x. So now the vertical asymptote is here, and 1 over and 1 up. And one over and one up. So that's at a height of one, and this is at zero, and this is at one, and this is at two. Same parent function. This time it's, it's moved to the left two. <coughs> so we have the parent function. Goes through one and one. and negative 1, 1. It is moved left 2 1 over, 1 up 1, 1 over, up 1, and then it goes to a fourth and a fourth, and it's like this. And then it's this is on the outside, so it's a vertical stretch of 2 so now it becomes, it's still 2 over, same vertical asymptote, same horizontal asymptote, but it's stretched by 2. And so at 1, it's not 1 up, but 2 up. And at 2 over, it's normally a quarter, so now it's a half. And same on this side. So it's a little steeper, and then it goes out like that. <clears throat> this one, to see what how this works, you have to divide the x squared into both of these, and you get 1 minus 4 over x squared, which I'm going to write as um, minus 4 over x squared plus 1. So we have the parent function like we've had before. But it's flipped upside down and stretched four times. It's not moved sideways. So flipped upside down and stretched by four. So normally one, it's one. So now it's upside down, minus one, four times is four, minus four. And minus four, and at two over, it's usually one fourth. So now it's going to be at one and one. And so it goes like that, and like that. So I've taken care of the minus and the 4, and now we have to move it up 1. So now, instead of that being there, it's here, and the horizontal asymptote's at plus 1. And uh, 1 over is down... 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two over is one, two over is one. Hmm. So we just lifted it up to uh, up one. Flipped it over, stretched it vertically by 4, and then moved it up 1. And I could give you domain ranges for that, but I don't know if they asked you for that. Okay, now we're supposed to just find vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So, is there any holes? No factors match, so no holes. So then, anything that makes the denominator 0 is a vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote. 
and horizontal or oblique will depend on the power the degrees and this is has one and one and so it's the ratio of the coefficients three to one which is is y equals three forty seven so we factor x minus minus two that's the cube root of that and cube root of that and then x squared this one squared this one squared plus four these two multiply to make negative two x so we change the sign and make it plus two x <coughs> that's how that factors and this factors to x minus three and x minus two and so we have x minus two in the numerator and denominator so we don't have a vertical asymptote we have a hole at x at negative at 2 and we could plug it into here 2 into there to find the rest of the hole but they didn't say find the hole so the only vertical asymptote we have is that x equal 3 and oblique we would divide this into that but now we could just divide x minus 3 into x squared plus 2x plus 4 so that would be x times x is x squared x times negative 3 is negative 3x draw the line change the signs add we get 5x plus 4 x times 5 would make 5x and we don't have to go further. The oblique asymptote is y equals x plus 5. So now I could have also done synthetic division on that last part. Since I knew it reduced to this over that. I could have said 3 makes is what this is. 3 into... Um, 1x squared, 2x plus 4, 1 plus 0 is 1, times 3 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 times 5 is 15, and I get 19, that's not 0, but I don't care, here's my oblique asymptote, y equals, this was x squared, so now it becomes 1x plus 5, same answer we had here.